Motors. Hi, I'm Paul Elio with Elio Motors, and we're here at CES, and we'd like to show you, we now can mount an iPad Mini inside the Elio to take over a lot of the functionality that you would normally see in an automotive headset. The nice thing about having it offloaded to a Mini instead of integrated into the vehicle is as you own your Elio and they come out with more modern uh, uh, iPads, you can upgrade your, your uh, experience without having to buy a new car. Any tablet or just the iPad? Just an iPad Mini right now. Okay, so let me see the car. So this okay. is a great part. You can see this. Amazing. Tell me about any of the new features that you have with the car. Okay, so let me let me get in just for a second and turn the, the, the display on. There we go. Okay, okay now, now you can go ahead and get in. And you, so, if you notice, it, it mounts there, it adjusts, and then on the bottom, it scrolls for different features. And I think a better way to show you that, it, yeah. So this is just a bigger version out of the vehicle. So you can show your speedometer uh, and uh, you have your front and rear cameras. This is uh, your standard navigation. This plays your iTunes and iRadio. This is uh, Maroon 5 Maps playing right now. This is uh, tracks your driving. So if you're using this as a uh, courier vehicle, somewhere where you can uh, deduct your mileage, you can do this automatically. Um, climate control, you can remote start your vehicle with your iPhone or your uh, iPad. You can also unlock your doors. Nice. You can cha change the color palette to match your car or anything else that you like there. Or you can stick with the safety orange. Yes. Um, you can make phone calls uh, with, with this. Here's the backup camera that's optional, and it also has a four camera. And the cool thing about this is that streams to you. This is an internet-connected vehicle now. So now you can turn that camera on and see it with your iPhone. So let's say you're a, worse ner a nurse working late. You turn on the front and back cameras, and you can see what's around your car before you go out to the parking light. Nice safety feature. Yeah, or if you grow up in Denver like I did, you set the alarm and in case you have to shovel snow, you can turn the camera on. Oh, it didn't snow, I can hit snooze and go back to sleep for 20 minutes without having to get up, right? Lots of uses for, for the remote camera. It has accelerometers, so if something bumps it, you can check to see what it was. Oh, that was a shopping cart. Oh, that was a, an SUV. I need to go out and see what's going on, right? So, so there's all sorts of neat things that th this can have an internet connected car will do, and that's what we're showing here to, at uh, CES today. And still at sixty-eight hundred dollars. So th there'll be an upcharge for the uh, uh, this technology. So, okay. so what we've done is at sixty-eight hundred dollars, you get air conditioning, power windows, power door locks, and a stereo. All the other content that you normally see on a vehicle, like leather seats, is available, but instead of buying it one by uh, in a package, you get to buy it one by one. So you come into our showroom, say you want the orange automatic with leather seats and the iPad uh, Infinite Skies technology. That will go off to a, a marshalling center where that contact gets added to the vehicle post manufacture. So we have seven marshalling centers that are within nine hours of our store. So you come into our store anytime from when we open and we close at 9 p.m. or your vehicle. We add content to vehicles till midnight, so we have three hours to clear the system, put them on trucks, and at 10 a.m. the next day, you get the vehicle exactly the way you wanted it the day before, no matter what time you came in the store. That's crazy. That's amazing. And that's part of why you're only paying $6,800. If you look around your vehicle, there's thousands of dollars of stuff that you were forced to buy that you neither needed nor wanted, but because they packaged it to get the stuff you did want, you had to buy it. So how many cars have you sold thus far? We have 38,000 reservations. So when are you going to see these on the road? Late 2015. Anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I want to show you one other thing. So the gauge cluster that's in the uh, vehicle is a donor gauge cluster. The production and tech gauge cluster, this was this is modeled off of my father's old watch. So instead of having a needle moving across the numbers, we have a disc with the numbers on it moving in the window. So there's your speedometer and your tachometer. And it gives it a nice clean look. Retro, what do you say? Yeah, the watch is from 1952 that we, we modeled this after, and I can still see the watch in my mind's eye, holding my dad's hand, looking up at it. So, thank you.